Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I have Angel here with me, and I wanted to show you guys this really fun, rockin', disheveled kind of braid style, utilizing four different braids. So it's really fun, and it's really easy to do, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for this look, what we're gonna do is gonna be really simple. We're gonna create a large triangle section on top, and we're gonna create a fishtail braid, and then on the sides, we're gonna do two Dutch braids. And then we're gonna incorporate it together, really pull them out, and create a really large kind of dino braid down the back. So um, to start this off, I'm gonna go ahead and have her put her head back, creating our triangle section here. So I like to go crown to high recession, and create that first section. Gonna go ahead and clip that away for later and work the side sections first. So I've created two triangles on the side as well, and then I've clipped away the back. I'm gonna go ahead and fishtail this um, in a little bit. So we're gonna do our Dutch braid by simply taking a small section of hair, splitting it in three, and working it underhanded, taking our right section under into the middle, left section under into the middle. Now we're gonna slowly incorporate hair, take that right section into the middle, incorporate hair on that left side, and incorporate hair. We're gonna do this until we run out of hair to uh, incorporate into it, and then we're gonna continue on with an underhanded regular three-strand braid. Once I get to the ends, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it with an elastic, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So I just went ahead and did our Dutch braid on the opposite triangle now, um, securing the ends with an elastic once I get there, and then we're gonna work our other sections. All right, so now I'm just gonna use a little bit of Texture Takeover by Fave 4 and really spray in her hair. This is gonna help give us a lot of texture and volume because we're gonna create a little bit of a faux hawk feel. So now all we want to do is, I'm going to have you put your head back. We're going to do our fishtail braid, but we're going to do a Dutch fishtail braid. So now we're going to split the hair in half. We're going to take a section from the side and go under opposed to over. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Now we want to start incorporating hair into it as we work down. So we're gonna take a small piece of hair from our right side and go under, but now we're gonna incorporate a little bit of that hair on the right side and go under with it as well. Now we wanna do the same thing on the opposite side, so take a small piece of hair from the left, going under it, now we want to connect the braid, so we're adding a little bit of hair from our left and going under that section. Continue these same techniques until you run out of hair. So now we're getting to the end of our section, and after that we're just going to continue with the normal fishtail braiding technique but we're gonna take that small piece of hair and just cross it under instead of over. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to braid, and once I get to the ends, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it with an elastic band. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and do a normal fishtail braid on the bottom here. So splitting the hair in half, taking a small piece of hair, going up and over to the left. Small piece of hair from our left, going up and over to the right. We're just gonna continue that same technique all the way to the ends and securing it with an elastic. Then we're gonna pull all of our braids together. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do next is I'm gonna use my texture takeover, spray it all throughout the hair, and then I'm gonna pancake all of the braids out. So really stretch them, pull them, because we wanna create a really kind of big, um, messy kind of feel to it. So just gonna aggressively spray this. Using a product like texture takeover definitely helps um, when you stretch braids, because it 
it kind of gives it a little bit of texture to it so it doesn't flop. All right, so now that I've pan pancaked all of our braids, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is connect them now. So I'm gonna take the three braids on top and simply do a simple three-strand braid technique, crossing them over one another. All right, so now I'm just gonna really pull this braid underneath out to give it a really messy, disheveled feel. Now I'm gonna take that other braid that we created and just lay it on top. Now I'm just gonna connect the two by using a bobby pin and going from underneath, pressing it in and kind of weaving it back and forth and then pressing it down. Then I'm going to go ahead and connect these two braids by a clear elastic. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it off with a little bit of hairspray just for a little bit of hold. And you can see it looks really messy, kind of gave it a really fun like faux hawkish feel, but I love um, it, that it's so disheveled and there's a lot of different braids in this hairstyle that which makes it really unique. So anyways, for more tutorials just as fun as this one, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to check me out on Instagram at the confessions of a hairstylist and I'll see you soon.